All right, this is how to make coax cable. I'm going to show you right here. If you want to, um, let's say you're running it, um, you're using this, or for video surveillance, you're running it as a video cable or audio cable. You just put on the adapter ends, RC adapter ends. But uh, if you're just doing a coax cable or repairing one, <clears throat> and what you want to do is measure it out. If you, um, you take your foot, average foot is about a foot actually, and just walk it along. So if you walk it down the room, and it's 12 feet, um, and you just walk, you know, put toe to heel, toe to heel, and it's 12 feet. What you want to do is grab the wire from the coax cable box, grab it like this. You want to use RG6, by the way, that's the um, type. And then you, from here to here, it's about one foot, elbow to wrist. That's if you're like average size guy, 5'9. Alright, and then you wrap it around like that, and then grab on over your thumb and again under your elbow over your thumb under your elbow over your thumb but when you do that you tap less one foot and that's two feet three feet four feet so you can count in, uh, in twos I guess six eight ten twelve so that's twelve feet right there about these are estimates. And always give yourself a little bit of slack. Root trial, you know, for error, whatever. So, if it's too long, you go snip it. If it's too short, then you have to do it all over. So now you got about 12 feet right here. And I'm going to show you how to put it on the ends. Right here. So what you want to do is you got a crimper, a compressor tool. And you're going to strip it using this. You get these tools at, uh, Amazon. The link is on my channel. And you need a fittings. So let's go ahead and get the fittings. Compression fittings are the best. Alright. You want to put it on number six on this tool. And these are the strippers. Wire stripper. See, right there, you're going to put it flush where it's like that, and then you squeeze it a little bit, and then you take it and run it, I think, what is that, count, clockwise? Yeah. And you'll hear it cutting. You hear that little kind of like crunching noise? It's cutting it. If you don't hear that, then you have to go the other way. And see how the braids, the ground braids are touching the um, copper prong? You're gonna take that off, or else it's gonna short out the cable. If that if that does that, I think the cable won't work. So what you want to do is take all that, make sure that dielectric, the white part, is clean, like so. Push all the braids down. So you should have a clean copper part right there, the prong, the dielectric. It's all white all the way around. No, there's no braids covering it. And the ground braids are bent back. I'm going to take the compressing. See how it's in there? You want to put the center in there. To the inner plate. See the inner plate? You want to go flush right in there. Right? And then push down as hard as you can and twist until the inner is flush with the, um, the white. The electric part is flush with the inner plate. And then you want to trim the, uh, the, the copper prong flush with the edge of the compressor. Compression fitting. And then now you want to use a compression tool and the prong goes in here. And it clamps down in there, see? And then you squeeze as hard as you can. And that's it. And, make, and test it. Make sure it doesn't come off. See how it's flush with the inner plate? And the prong is flush with the edge of the, the outer part of the fitting. That's a good fitting. And basically you do the same on the outside, this one. Take that, twirl it around, pull. 
clean off the braids. Make sure there's no nothing touching the copper prong. Push it in where the white dielectric is flush with the inner plate. Trim off the access prong. Put the prong right there. Squeeze as hard as you can. Make sure it's clamped in. Test it out. That's it, you made 12 foot cable. Alright. So that's how you do it. And also if you want to connect those two, so let's say you didn't do it long enough and you want to connect them both, you need a coupler. Oh, let me just show you this. This is how you make it into a video cable if you're using video surveillance, whatever. You want to get that part. So see how that coax turns on to that and then you plug it into uh, that would be like your white RCA video. Anyhow, just to show you, there's also couplers where you can extend them and you join two of them together. Thanks for watching.